Good evening, track fans, and welcome to the football stadium over here in the track complex in Demet, Texas. And we're going to bring you today the uh, district track meet, two, two A district track meet. There will be three divisions, varsity girls, JV boys, and varsity boys. The top four places in each event will advance to the area next week at Panhandle. That's something new they've added this year as an area in, the, in the, this division. Varsity level only. The top four places that reach up at the uh, area next week will go to regional. And uh, this is Bob Graves along with Buddy Embry. He's helping me today with uh, all the stats. And of course our uh, filmer is Gil Robert Reynolds. The teams interested today are Mewshu, Littlefield, Friona, Demet, Abernathy, Tuyan, and Olton. The uh, shot put in the varsity shot put, the, uh, I'll just give you the Mewshu uh, finishers. Keegan Fax was sixth. All right, we'll go to the JV Discus, and we had a fifth place finisher there, Danny Campus. And the Let's see, the JV boys high jump. We had a tie for fourth and fifth with Antonio Vasquez, and sixth place was Javi Perez. In the varsity boys triple jump, fifth was Jesus Manzanares. In the JV boys long jump was Antonio Vasquez. The varsity girls high jump, Adrian Precure was second. I think she tied for first, but missed out on fewer misses, so she gets second. The, uh, let's see, we'll move on down here. The JV boys triple jump. Sixth was Matthew Flores. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed one on the girls' high jump. Fourth place was Marilyn Melendez. And of course, we mentioned Adrian Precure was second. All right, we move, move on down. And the varsity boys high jump was Eli Leal was third. And Eli has been having trouble with the knee, but he was able to participate in that. And he will be doing some of the running. In the JV boys pole vault, first place was Eli's little brother, Jesse Leal. So first place there. And the varsity girls 3,200 meter run. We had two places there. In third place was Miranda Mendoza. In fourth place was Jasmine Garza. And the varsity, we didn't have anyone uh, place in the JV boys 3,200 run. In the varsity boys 3,200 yard run, we had Mario Flores fourth, and fifth was Noah Del Toro. So I believe that catches us up. And uh, it won't be long, but just a few minutes, and we'll start off with the 400-meter relay. And on all divisions, we'll have the varsity girls first, and then the second uh, will be uh, JV boys, and then the third one or the last one in each event to run will be the varsity boys. And I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, give you the girls from Mushu in the 400 meter relay varsity girls Mushu they'll be in lane 5 and the first leg will be Caitlin Gable the second leg will be Amy Rosa, Rosa. the third leg will be Ruby Andrade and the fourth leg will be Jasmine Arellano so that's um, that should catch us up, and and we'll be able to start here in just a moment. The four by 100 meter relay varsity girls, Caitlin Gable in the first leg, Amy Rosa's second leg, third leg is Ruby Andrada, and the fourth leg will be Jasmine Arellano, and they're in lane five. There's seven teams in this, and they're just about ready. Guns up. Now, now everyone was off on a clean, clean start there, and like I said, 
Caitlin Gable in lane one. She'll be handing off to Amy Rosas. And there's a handoff, good handoff. And Tulia is very fast on this. Looks like the mules are running about third or fourth right now. Uh, Amy Rosas will hand off to Ruby Andrade. And, well, we're right now we're in fourth, I believe, buddy. Fourth or fifth. And the last leg will be Jasmine Arellano. Looks like that's going to be Tulia in first. Littlefield in second, Friona in third, and the Mules are going to finish fourth. So that uh, that qualifies them for the uh, area next week. At to start the JV 4 by 100 meter relay, JV boys, and they'll be in lane six. Lane one is Trey Villa. Uh, I mean, uh, the first leg. The second leg is Jesse Easley. The third leg is uh, George Martinez. And the fourth leg is Wesley Clarkson. And there's the start. And the mules are in lane six, 400-meter relay. And the handoff was to Jesse Easley of the mules. And the mules are out in lane six. Easley will hand off to George Martinez. And let's see, it looks like we're in about third right now, buddy, I believe. And George Martinez hands off to Wesley Clarkson. And looks like the Mules are going to be third in this one. And out front, looks like uh, Abernathy and Tulia, I believe. So, now we might mention again that these fourth place, uh, first four finishers, that's the only varsity division that advanced. But the Mules four by 100 meter relay varsity boys division. The Mules are in lane four. First leg, Jose Mendoza. Second leg, Nick Rosas. Third leg, Beto Diaz. And the fourth leg, Francisco Elizalde. And like I said, the Mules will be in lane four. A lot depends on this race for the handoffs. That must be Littlefield in lane one, Freon in lane two, Abernathy is in three, the Mules are in four, and fifth must be Tulia. Sixth is Olton, and out in the seventh lane is Demet, and there, there's the start of the 400-meter relay. Jose Mendoza will hand off to Nate Rosas. Right. Looks like a good handoff. Rosas will hand off to Beto Diaz. And let's see how the handoff went there. Looked like a pretty good handoff. And right now, we're it's, it's really bunched, but boy, Friona's coming up. Beto will hand off to Francisco Elizalde. And looks like the mules are going to be fifth. And Littlefield is going to win it. And the Mules finished fifth in that one, so we didn't quite make it. to run the 800-meter run with the, uh, and they're off with the Varsity Girls. This will be two times around the track. And running for Muse U will be Keita Salas, Naomi Herrera, and Mariva Rubakava. Rubakava. And like we said this is two times around the track and we have three lady mules in it well it looks like uh <laughs> see buddy looks like one of the mule shoe girls is Second at this time. And well, actually, all three are in the top six. And the leader right now is Olton. And uh, have a mule, Lady Mule in second. And but she's being crowded right now by Abernathy. 
And we have another mule shoe, Lady Mule in fifth, in sixth. And then we have another mule in sixth and one in eighth. So, oh, right, in the, right now, Salas has moved out to first place. And she has about a two-step lead on the Olton girl. And now we have, we still have a lady mule in sixth place. And one in eighth, I believe. Okay, now they're coming around the last curve. And this is going to be quite a race. And this Olton girl is really coming on now. And the mule shoe lady mule is trying to hold her off. She's still in first, but they have about 20 yards to go, and she's going to win it. That's first place there. Olton second. Looks like Abernathy third. And we got a fifth, look like. Now we're going to have to figure out. Upstairs. Uh, we're going to have to figure out. 800-meter run. Uh, JV boys, and I'll give you the ones enter entered for the mules. It's Ramon Martinez, it's Isaac Acosta, and Evan Paez, and they're just about ready to start this race. The mules have three runners in it, and that is Martinez and uh, Acosta and Paez. Looks like the gun's up. This will be the same as the girls. It'll be two times around the track. And, you know, they used to call this an 800-meter run, but it's more of an 800-meter, uh, uh, you know, just a real fast-paced 800-meter uh, eight, sprint. <laughs> and it looks like, uh, buddy, we have a mule out there, but here comes someone from Tulia is re really coming on. We have, let's see. Uh, wait a minute. We have, and we have one in second, one mule in second, and then we drop back quite a ways. Please clear the track. And right now, very close there. Buddy, is that one Littlefield? Uh, uh, that's out in front, or is that to you? To you, to you out in front, and we ha we have a one in second and fourth, and then uh, back a ways back, yeah, about tenth, a second and a fourth, and now first we have three running, uh, buddy, and we're not sure exactly which one, but. This is, uh, we have Ramon Martinez, Isaac Acosta, and Evan Paez. And right now, Evan Paez is holding them off. And now another mule is coming up real strong right now. Now the mules, we have a first and a second. A first and a second. And we're going to get first, and I believe we're going to be third. So we have a first and a third there. And that was really a good race by the mules in. And now we have another one coming in. So um, first and third. 800-meter run varsity boys. Of course, the top four advance to area next week at Panhandle. And we'll give the mules running. That's Aaron Ross, um, Jesus Manzanares, and Christian Paez. And like I said, this is two times around the track. And let's see. We have Jesus out front. And then we also have uh, Ross and Paez. So we'll try to keep this straight. because We do have three mules in it. This is the varsity. 800 meters. Now out front is Jesus Manzanares, and looks like uh, Paez is sixth, 
And Ross is back about ninth or tenth. Was right on his heels. Now they're coming around. And we also have one in fourth, which that must be Paez, yes. So right now we have, he's going to have to really run to hold off this uh, Abernathy boy. But this is Manzanares, and he's, Manzanares is going to win it. And here comes another Mushu boy that's going to be, that's Paez. Okay, Manzanera first, and Paez is going to be fourth. So we get, we get uh, two qualifiers there. And then the last runner's coming in, and he's, he's uh, passing about two or three of them, and that's uh, Ross. Uh, okay. We're ready to, to run the 110-meter high hurdles, and this is the JV boys. And we have Dustin Sturmer and Matthew Flores that will be running for the mules. 110 high hurdles, JV boys. There's the start right there. And looks like we have... Uh, five running in this, and um, out in front there, well, that two of Abernathy, oh, wait a minute, looked like uh, Flores finished third, and Sturmer was fifth. Flores, Matthew For Flores third, and Dustin Sturmer for the two girls. That'll be Adrian Precure. Uh, her sister em Emily Precure and Daniela Diaz. We have three girls in this 100 meter hurdles. And we're just about ready. Like we said, the gun is up. And there's the start of the 100 meter hurdles. And looks, looks like uh, it's really close between the Littlefield girl and Precure. Now the Littlefield's in the lead. And it looks like that Adrian's going to be second and and Danielle third, I believe. Danielle Diaz third. Adrian Precure was second. And the girl from Littlefield, Denny, I believe, was uh, first. Ready for their 100-meter dash, JV boys. And running for the mules will be George Martinez. And this is the JV boys 100. The gun's up, and there's the start of the 100-meter. Looks like uh, that's uh, going to be two you out there in front. And let's see, Buddy, we, we may have gotten third. It's kind of hard to see the other end with the way they're running this 100 meters. But I believe George Martinez got third in the JV 100 uh, varsity division, and the mules have one uh, participant in this. It's in lane one, and that is Nate Rosas. Nate Rosas. Well, the gun's up, but now they're not all set. And it's kind of hard to tell the, exactly who finishes on this because they're running the 100 away from us. Now there's the start, and looks like it's going to be Friona and Mathis out front. One, two, three, looks like, are we going to, did we get fourth? I, I, we may have gotten fifth, I couldn't tell. I, I think the relay it was fifth. girls, uh, the mules are in lane four. Caitlin Gable, lane uh, leg one. Daniela Diaz, lane two. Uh, Amia Rosas, lane three. And I'm uh, not lane three, but leg three. And leg four is Jasmine. Arlano, Arlano. So this will be two times around the track. Each each runner will run 200 meters. And Caitlin Gable is running the first leg, and she's running well. But looks like uh, Tulia and Littlefield have a lot of speed in this. But Caitlin's running very well. She's going to hand off to Daniela Diaz. And there's a handoff. And right now, right now, it looks like we're in fourth. Daniela's running very well. She's, 
she's she has moved up well almost third and looks like she's going to hand off fourth and she will hand off to Amia Rosas and there is the handoff good handoff right there the mules need to hold on to at least fourth here and right now they're third and that friend is coming up strong on the inside now looks like we're we're fighting for fourth right now i'm still and it looks like well we're still hanging in there and there's another good handoff and the handoff was to Jasmine Arellano, and right now we're in third. And Arellano is running very well. Looks like, is that two out in front? Or is that Littlefield? Littlefield, and then Friona is gonna be second, and the Mules will be third. So that's another one that qualifies next week. For the JV boys 800 meter relay, the mules uh, don't have a good lane in this. It's lane seven, and they'll, the first uh, leg will be George Martinez, the second one Je Jesse Easley, the third Jason Flores, and the fourth Trey Villa. Guns up. This is two uh, times around the track. Each runner will run 200 meters, and out there. And the outside lane is George Martinez. And Olton, second. And it's hard to tell for sure on this 800-meter relay. The one on the inside usually uh, will come out ahead. Well, there's a bad handoff over there for who was that? Uh, Tulia? Uh, a little, a little field. Okay. Now, right now, the mules are running... Well, they're still, oh, that handoff was Easley, and Easley ran that very well. And he's going to hand off to Jason Flores. And the mules right now are leading. But there's, there's one coming up on the inside. Is that Abernathy on the inside or? No, that's Littlefield, I believe. Yeah, that is Abernathy. There's three of them have... Uh, almost the same color jerseys, Littlefield, Tuya, and Abernathy. And there's a handoff to Trey Villa. And Trey Villa, the Trey's on the outside, and, and it's always, you always uh, wonder, well, he's still holding him off, but uh, right now, right now he's first if, if he can hold him off, and he may do it. Trey is running very well. And and they won it. Good job there on that. Lap. Well, all of them ran very well, but uh, Trey had to hold off the uh, Littlefield well, Varsity 800 meter relay. The first leg will be Aaron Ross. The second leg Francisco Elizalde. Third leg Jesus Manzanares, and the fourth leg will be Matthew Barone. And the mules got another tough lay, uh, lane. They're in lane seven. This lane seven makes you look like you're way ahead, but you're not. But the mules won the JV from that lane. So looks like everything's ready. The gun's up. And there's the start. Aaron Ross will be running the first leg for the mules, and he'll hand off to Francisco Elizalde. And Friona's really coming up on this. They really are. And Ross, Ross is gonna hand off to Elizalde, and there's good handoff. There's a good handoff. But Friona is blistering this right now, but um, the mules are second, and well, Elizalde is running very well. Actually, he's running exceptionally well, and he's going to catch him. He's going to hand off to Jesus Manzanares. And got a, okay, but right now, Freon is ahead, and the Mules are second, but looks like uh, 
Abernathy's coming up real strong. Je Jesus Manzanares will hand off the last leg to Matthew Barone. And there's another good handoff right there by Barone, but now is that Littlefield, buddy? I think it is. Littlefield is really coming up. And, and, and now Friona is going to be, looks like second, Littlefield first. And it looks like, oh, did we get, I didn't see the end of it there. I couldn't either. I don't 400 meters, varsity girls. And let's see who we have in this. We have Z Elizaldi. Oh, we have three in this, buddy. Z Elizaldi, uh, Mariah Ruvacaba, and Ruby Andrade. And right now, the mules are running. Let's see, buddy. That's one. That's one of the mules. Is that Rubacaba? Is is leading right now, and then we have. Let's see, one of the other lady mules is in about third, and then the other one's coming up now on the inside. About sixth, I believe. But Ruby Andrade, uh, I mean, Mariah Rubacaba is going to win this uh, by a pretty big margin. And now, now we have a lady mule at Buddy. She's going to be, looks like we're going to get first, second, and fourth, I believe. Runs up. And there's the start. Looks like one of the mules is on the inside, and one of them is in lane five. So, it looks like uh, I, ble I believe that's Littlefield on the inside. And like I said, we have Javi Perez and JJ Gandera. And uh, looks like uh, Perez is running right. Well, he, he's going to have to hold off the little field boy. And so far he has. And he's running, running very well. And I believe he's going to be first. And that is Javi Perez first. And let's see. Gandera got fourth, didn't he? Uh, yes. So we had a first and a fourth there for the JV boys. And the next race will be the varsity 400 meters. Oh, was Gandera first? Oh, well, I call that this, this backwards. Oh, my goodness. I thought that was Javi Perez. We'll have to correct that. The varsity 400 meters. And let's see who we have in that. We have Eli, Eli Leal and... Austin Ross. And Eli's had a lot of trouble this year with his knee, but uh, right now he's he's running very well. And Ross is out on the outside lane. Ronnie Austin really got a bad lane on this. But I think he's going to win it. Okay. It looks, looks like Eli's running very well, too, both of them. Right now, right now, they're both for one and two. That's uh, Austin and Lee Al. Friona's coming up. Littlefield's coming up. And let's see. Lee Al is going to get third and Ross first. And we had, uh, who was that came in there? Littlefield. Uh, we have two precures in this 300 meter hurdles. Varsity, Adrian Precure will be in lane four, and Emily Precure, uh, the freshman, her sister, will be in lane seven. And there's the start of the 300 meter relay, Varsity Girls. Right now, 
right now, Adrian is running very well, and Emily's on the outside, and the, the girl from Littlefield is right there with uh, Adrian, and this is going to be a race like it always is with these two. Uh, the girl from Littlefield edged her out in the 100-meter hurdles, and all oh, this is close. This is close. Right now, she's about two steps ahead of, of Adrian, and Adrian is coming on. She is... Well, she's going to be second, just about two steps behind. And let's see. Buddy, did uh, Emily fall? Sixth. Oh, sixth. Okay. Yeah, she was on the inside. We could 300-meter hurdles, JV boys. We should have Matthew Flores in lane one and Jaime Saya in lane five. And there's the start of the 300-meter hurdles, JV boys. Like I said, we have two in this. I'd like to share the results of the varsity boys 100-meter dash. Sixth place, Justin Roca from Briona. Fifth place, Nate Roses with Neil Q. Matthew Nick Flores and Jaime Saya. Second place, Kyle Mills from Aberdeen. First place, Devontae Mathis from Littlefield with a time of okay. Matthew Flores is in one, and Jaime is in lane five. And looks like, let's see, one, two, it looks like we're going to be, well, what did we get? Did we get Buddy second? Is anywhere from, is anywhere from second to fourth? Wow. So the 200 meter dash, varsity girls. Jasmine Arellano is in lane one, and Caitlin Gable is in lane six, and the gun's up. 200 meters. And there's the start of the 200 meters. Lane one and lane six. And looks like that's a little field out in front. Or is that to you? Yeah, to you. And then little field. And uh, Caitlin, Caitlin is third right now. Let's see, two, four, six. We have one in third, one in sixth. And Caitlin got third. And Jasmine, 200 six. meter dash, JV boys. And looks like we have in lane five, Danny Campus for the Mules. And there's the start of the 200 meter dash, JV boys. On, Danny. And Danny is right now, he's in fourth. And running very well. He's he's he may get third. Good, good. And he may get second. No, believe he's going to get third. That was a good race. But for the 200 meter dash, uh, varsity boys Austin Ross in lane four and Matthew Barone in lane six. This will be a good race, buddy, if I remember, between Littlefield and Mushu, between uh, Ross and the boy from Littlefield. I think the boy from Littlefield may have edged him out in the track meet at Mushu. And he's going to be right there. He's running right next to Ross there. And there is Ross, Ross and Lopez and there, this is going to be very close, very close, and, well, I'm not sure. Let's see who they pick. I thought Ross won that, and, buddy, I didn't see where Barone finished. Fourth, Barone got meter fourth. Run for the varsity girls. We have three in this, Brianna Acevedo, Jasmine Garza, and Keedy Salas. And the Mules are in third place in the team totals. They are about, uh, what was it, buddy? About 20 points behind uh, Abernathy and about 15 points behind 
uh, Littlefield, or nine maybe behind, nine behind Littlefield, yeah. So the mule, the, the girls have, uh, you know, these last two races, they could really make it interesting in the team totals. Now, we have Brianna Acevedo, Kitty Salas, and Jasmine Garza in this mile. Of course, this is four times around. And let's see, who, which one is that in second, buddy? Uh, that's uh, Baran Barana. Is it Miranda? Oh, Miranda. Okay. We had that down as Miranda, but it's Miranda Acevedo. And she's in second right now. And looked, and we have a Jasmine in fifth. And in sixth is Kitty Silas. So the mules have a chance here to get some points. But, buddy, I think the one out in front there is Abernath. And right now, Abernath is... Uh, Pretty well, first and second, and the mules are second, third, and fourth. And of course, Abernath is the one leading in the team totals. And if if they get first and second, well, that uh, is 18 points. But the mules are hanging in there right now, uh, third, fourth, and fifth. Now, who is that that just passed? Was that Jasmine? Jasmine and Marana Acevedo. And then back is Kitty Salas. Second, fourth, and fifth. So the mules can hold what they have right now. They will pretty well break even on this. Because Abernathy is going to get a first. That's 10. Well, we'll wait and see here. Is that a, that's an Abernathy girl back in six too, isn't it? Or is that, that's hard to tell, those jerseys. That may be a Tuya or a Littlefield. Okay, right now, looks like uh, Jasmine Garza is gonna be second. And okay, there, come, there comes uh, Miranda. She's gonna be third. Okay, there's a third, fourth, fifth. We're going to, okay, we're getting the second, third, and sixth. So that's a 1,600-meter run, JV boys. The mules will have Isaac Acosta running in lane one and Evan Paez running in lane four. Okay, there's a Acosta. Ronnie, I, I mean, uh, <laughs> buddy, I hope we're getting this right because that's it's either Acosta or Evan Pye, as we'll find out on this. We're doing the first lap and the last lap of this uh, mile, but we'll find out for sure in between here. But the mules are running first right now. And Littlefield is coming up fast right now. They just passed us. And right now we're second. And then let's see, third, four, fifth, sixth. And we're back back quite a ways. But buddy, did we just have one in that? We were supposed to have two. Okay, this is the last lap of the mile, and Evan Paez of the Mules, JV, is in third place behind the two uh, Abernathy and Littlefield boys. So, looks like uh, Evan is in good shape to finish third here, unless he really puts on a, a burst here at the end. But I don't, don't, yeah, 
It looks like right now Evan is going to be a str strong third, but, well, I don't know. He's he's putting on a pretty good uh, push right now, and he on, he's gaining. There's no doubt about it. He is really gaining, and he may get second. Let's see. Well, no, he didn't, but he almost. I mean, he got within a step of finishing second. So Evan Paez will be third in the JV. Okay, there's the start of the 1,600-meter run varsity boys division. And running for the mules is in lane one is Noel Del Toro, and lane four, Mario Flores. And we'll be calling the first and last uh, legs on this. Looks like that's Abernathy out front. We're, let's see, what are we now, buddy? Fourth, fourth and seventh, or fifth and seventh. And that's Del Toro and Flores. Sixteen hundred meter run, varsity boys. We'll have one more race after this. It'll be the what we call the mile relay or the sixteen hundred meter relay. So right now, yeah, let's see. What are we? About sixth, sixth, and about ninth. Okay, we're starting the fourth leg. And looks like the mules are in, is that fourth, buddy? Fifth? Fourth, I believe, yeah. Fourth and sixth. Right now we're fourth and sixth. That's Del Toro and Flores. And this is the last leg of the mile, or 1,600 meters. Oh, what? Okay, I had that. I had, I had us up. I forgot about the one that was so far ahead there. One, two, three. Well, right now we're C. Okay, moved up to fourth there. That's Del Toro and and Flores is in seventh. Looks like this. Abernath is going to win this going away. And second's going to be Freona. And third will be Olton. No, Demet. Third will be Demet. And fourth is Demet. And Mushu fifth. And let's see. Mushu may be sixth. Well, <laughs> fifth and seventh, they just switched on that. The Rosas and Andre Ruvacabi and Precure. And there's the start this time. And the first one running for the mules is Amy Rosas. She will be handing off to Ruby Andrade. This is one time around the track for each runner. And we're in lane two, and looks like Abernathy and, and Littlefield. And, and Littlefield's in three, and they're gaining ground pretty fast. And now we have Amy Rosas. And Amy is making up some ground now. On, and looks like that's going to be, what is that, Tulia and Littlefield? Out in front. Yes, Tulia out in front, then Littlefield. And Amy Rosas is in third. And she, she will hand off to Ruby Andrade. And there's a handoff right there. And right now we're running third. And Littlefield, I believe that's Littlefield second. And outside is Tuya. Now, Andrade is making up some ground. 
And she's, she's battling for second right now, and she's gained ground on both of them, both Little Phil and Tuya. So this is always an exciting race. Uh, the mile relay are 1,600 meters. And they're real close right now. And Andrade has made up some ground. It looked like, looked like Tuya just passed Littlefield. And Andrade may pass uh, Littlefield also. She's right there, right neck and neck. And Tuya is about 10 meters ahead. And Ruby Andrade looks like is going to hand off second to Maria Rubacabi. And right now we are second. But this is quite a race between Littlefield, Littlefield, Tuya. Oh, my goodness. Rubacabi is out in first now. I mean, she blew past him, buddy. If she can hold that. And now Littlefield is coming back on Tuya, I believe. Littlefield's girl's running this very well. But Rubacabi, if she can just hold this and get it to Precure, uh, Adrian always runs this strong on the last leg. Of course, I tell you, buddy, Rubacabi has run great. Well, so did, so did Andrade. And uh, Rosas was in third when she handed off. She ran a good leg, but these last one. Now this is Ruvakabe. She's about 10 meters ahead, but here comes Littlefield. Okay, and she's just about to catch us. And there's a handoff to Precure. And buddy, that is Littlefield second, isn't it? Yes. Okay. I don't think they're going to catch Precure, but Littlefield has a lot of speed also. And looks like right now, Precure is going to be first. The Mules are going to be first. Littlefield second. And Tuya third. Now Friona's coming up pretty strong for third. But I believe uh, Ad Adrian is running this very strong, very strong. And looks like, is that Littlefield, buddy, or to you? Littlefield second and uh, to you third. And Adrian's going to win by about 25 meters. So that's first. And Littlefield, oh, Freona, Freona's coming up for third ahead of uh, Tuya. And then Abernathy, I believe, was Next filled. to the last race of the day, this is a 1,600-meter relay, JV Boys, starting off with J.J. Gandera. Second leg is Jesse Easley. The third leg is Danny Campus. And the fourth leg is Trey Villa. So this should be an exciting race also. There's the start. And the mules, I didn't mention, they're in lane one. No, yes, lane one. So, J.J. Gandera. And he will hand off on the second leg to Jesse Easley. Look at the biceps on him. I know, I know. He's going to have some ground. Huh? He's going to have some ground. Yeah. Now, right now, it looks like uh, J.J. is in fourth place. And out front is Littlefield and Aber uh, Abernathy and then Demet. And now J.J. Gandera is going to hand off to Jesse Easley. There's the handoff in lane one. And Jesse Easley is running the second leg for, for, and now he is he is making up some ground. Right now he's he's challenging for first, and when he took the handoff he was fourth. My goodness. And this is. 
This is Jesse Easley. He started off in fourth place. And now he's running very well. He's about 10 meters ahead of the Littlefield boy. And Jesse's going to be handing off to Danny Campus. And right now he's first by about, like I said, 10 meters. That was a heck of a race by Jesse Easley. Now here comes L Littlefield. And they were third. Now they're second. They're making up some ground. And Danny Campus is trying to hold off the boy from Littlefield. And he's, so far, he's doing that. And who's third back there, buddy? Is that uh, Tuya? It's either Tuya or Abernathy. Uh, okay. They, they change up on us from the JV to the varsity, some of their jerseys. All right, Danny, Danny Campus ran a good leg also. He helped, he helped the lead that, uh, of course, Littlefield's coming on now. Well, that's, and he's still, he still hold him off. Now he hands him off to Trey Villa. That's Abernathy and Little. That's Littlefield uh, behind there. They're, they're putting a lot of pressure on Trey Villa, but Trey's trying to hold him off. And right now, Trey's about two steps ahead of the Littlefield boy. And this is a good race right here. And looks like Littlefield's going to try to pass him on the curve. Now, now Villa puts on some more uh, speed there. Now he's beginning to gain a little. And Trey Villa is holding him off right now. And here comes the Littlefield boy. And... But I don't think he's going to catch Trey. He's not. Trey's going to win this. Uh, the Mules are going to win this mile relay, and and uh, I think they had a good time too. First place for the JV, and that was that must have been Abernathy second, and Littlefield third, and Demit fourth, and Priona fifth. And let's. There's the start of the 1,600-meter relay. Varsity boys, the first, the mules are in lane one. The first leg is Francisco Alizaldi. No, no, that's Eli. Eli, I think he substituted for Kristen Paez. The second leg, Jesus Manzanares, and uh, then Alizaldi, and then the last leg will be Austin Ross. But we did have a substitution there. But uh, Eli is running, he's running the first leg. And this is, this is going to be a tough race. Um, okay, now he's gaining. Now, who's this out in front? Is that? Uh, Aber that's Abernathy, yeah. And right now, Eli's battling for second, third, and fourth. And he's going to hand off to Elizalde. And right now, Elizalde is in second. And out, out in front is Aberdathy. And then, of course, we have uh, Littlefield. We have Freona and I believe that's Demid. Uh, Freona's coming up third. Freona always has a good mile relay. Elizalde just passed the boy from, from uh, Abernathy. So if he can just hold on, and then he's going to hand off to, pretty sure that's Manzanares. Uh, I hope I hadn't got those mixed up because they had Kristen Paez in there, but I think Eli took his place. And he's holding them off right now, and it's, it's, it's quite a race with Abernathy and um, Elizalde. Elizalde's going to hand off to – I hope we have that right. I, I'm pretty sure that's Jesus Manzanares. And here comes uh, Abernathy. And Freona's coming up real strong, too. Now, right now, buddy, he's holding his own. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Boy, this is a three-team three race, just like, they, just like they said it would, would be. I, I, I believe he's gaining just a little there, but this Abernathy boy is really strong. Big, tall, uh, big, tall kid. He's, well, so far, uh, he's holding them off. But, uh-oh, now here he comes. And, oh, Freona's coming up, too. We may be third when we hand off. We, we, 
both of them. Now it's going to be up to Ross here. And this is going to be quite a race. Now it's Abernathy in first and Freona and then Ross for the Mules. Boy, I'll tell you what, that Abernathy really took off there. Well, looks like we may be in trouble, buddy. But uh, Ross, Austin looks a little, uh, a little bit tight. He sure, well, he's, he's, I believe he's gaining a little now, but it's Abernathy first. Now, now he's coming on. And it's going to be a free owner. And there, here comes Ross. And Ross, Ross is going to get him, I believe. And, and he got him. Okay. That was uh, Musu first, Freona second, and Abernathy third. Wow. <laughs> Boy, and I didn't think Ross was going to ever catch him. He was quite a ways behind, but he did turn it on the last 200 meters. Okay. All right. Musu, they're awarding them now down on the field, the Mushu girls, a time of 421 seconds, and uh, that's a good time for the mile relay. Mushu, 1600, 329.1 tenths, that's the fastest they've run it this year, I know. So that was good. That's that's the uh, mile relay for the varsity boys, the mules. Littlefield won the JV team totals. 162. And we'll see where the mules came in, but Littlefield did win the JV boys division. Okay, the varsity girls. I think that's going to be either Littlefield or Abernathy. Varsity girls, runners up with 147 points, Muleshoe High School. Muleshoe, runners up, 147 points on the varsity girls. They came on strong there the last two or three races. And let's see who won first in the team totals for the varsity girls. Little Littlefield, Little 171 points. So they won the varsity girls. And now he'll be giving the team uh, winners for the varsity boys. Varsity boys, runners up with 108 points. Runners up. Runners up, Dimmit with 108 points, the varsity runner up in the boys. And the varsity boys district champion for 2014 with 151 points, Abernathy. And Abernathy, Abernathy won the team totals for the boys with 151. Okay, we have the team totals for the three divisions in the varsity girls. The uh, first place was Littlefield with 171 points. Second place was Muleshoe Girls with 147. Uh, third place was Tuya with 90. And fourth place was Freona with 72. Uh, fifth, let's see, fifth place was Abernathy with 60. Sixth place was Olton with 42. And seventh place was Demet with 34. All right, the team totals for the JV boys. The uh, first place was Abernathy. No, wait a minute. Littlefield with 162 points. Second place was Abernathy with 154. Third place, the Mules came in a close uh, third, 141 for third. And fourth was Tulia with 52. Um, let's see. Uh, fifth was Demet with 47. S sixth was Freona with 30. And seventh was Olton with seven. Uh, 17. 17, I'm sorry. Okay, team totals, varsity boys. First place, Abernathy, 151 points. Second place, Demet, 108. 
Third place, Briona, 103. And fourth place, Mules, 95. They came in a close fourth there. And fifth place was Littlefield with 82. Sixth place was Tulia with 41. And seventh place with Olton, 38. And as we mentioned earlier, the uh, mile relay, the last race of the day was Mushu won all three of them. They won all three mile relays. Now, I might mention quickly, uh, Gil Robert, that I think we mentioned this earlier, but the top four finishers in the varsity division, they qualify for the area next week at Panhandle. And then from that, uh, the uh, Panhandle, the top four places will go to the regional in Odessa. So that kind of catches us up there. So really a great day for track here today. The weather was beautiful and a lot of good uh, races here today.